This video is going to examine the drug levothyroxine and some common side effects. Seven hacks to reduce side effects. Coming up. What is levothyroxine? Levothyroxine is used to treat your underactive thyroid. When your body is not making enough thyroid hormone, levothyroxine replaces a thyroid hormone in your body. This condition is also known as hypothyroidism. Levothyroxine is a prescription medication. Here are a list of common brand names. What is levothyroxine used for? Levothyroxine is used to treat your underactive thyroid. Normally, your thyroid gland makes thyroid hormone. If that gland is underact, it is unable to make enough thyroid hormone. Levothyroxine is a synthetic version of the thyroid hormone made by your gland. This medication can be used in other types of thyroid disorders, such as types of thyroid cancer or types of goiter. What is an underactive thyroid and why is my thyroid underactive? An underactive thyroid is also called hypothyroidism. This condition will make you feel tired and fatigued. You may have other symptoms such as constipation, difficulty concentrating, feeling too cold, even a lack of energy. Some people complain about feeling sleepy. Now, if your thyroid is underactive, it will affect other organs, in particular your heart. This is because your thyroid has an effect on your body's metabolism. Your metabolism is how your body cells uses energy from what you eat. Your metabolism affects many important functions in your body, such as your body temperature, how your heart beats, and how your cells burn calories. It goes without saying, if you have too little thyroid hormone because your thyroid gland is underactive, different body processes slow down. As I mentioned before, your heart can be affected. It can slow down and even become weaker. In fact, if your thyroid is not treated for some time, your blood pressure can go up as well as affect your cholesterol. You may be asking, why is my thyroid gland underactive? A common reason for this is a disease called Hashimoto's disease. This disease is an autoimmune disease. This is when your body's own immune system attacks and damages the thyroid gland. Certain medications can also cause an underactive thyroid. An example of that would be lithium. Hypothyroidism can also be caused after surgery and radiation treatment, especially when used to treat head and neck cancers. There are other reasons which can cause hypothyroidism, such as iodine deficiency, as this mineral is essential for the production of thyroid hormone. Another rare cause is when your pituitary gland produces less TSH, also known as thyroid stimulating hormone. Levothyroxine and synthroid doses. So there are plenty of doses and you can see a list right here where all the doses are listed. Thyroid medication should be taken on an empty stomach. And I'll speak about timing later in this video. What are the side effects of levothyroxine. All drugs may cause side effects. The goal of this channel is to educate you if you're on a drug, how it works, and what you might expect in terms of common side effects. There will be always some people who have no or mild side effects. And if you do have side effects, call your healthcare provider as soon as possible to get advice accordingly. Here are some of the more common side effects. Mind you, this list is by no means exhaustive. Muscle weakness, fatigue, chest pain, shortness of breath, headache, leg cramps or muscle spasms, nervousness, palpitations, sweating, mood swings, trouble sleeping, anxiety, GI side effects such as diarrhea, constipation, and, a, and abdominal pain, ankle and leg swelling, skin rash, partial hair loss, seizures, impaired fertility. Can levothyroxine affect your heart? If too much of this medication is taken or the dose is too high, it can affect your heart. It can cause chest pain, anxiety, palpitations, shortness of breath, and some individuals an irregular heart rate. The patients who are most vulnerable are older patients, especially after the age of 70. And other people who might be vulnerable are individuals who have a pre-existing heart disease. 
If you do have heart disease, your healthcare provider will keep you at the lowest dose of this medication for maximum benefit and to minimize side effects. Can levothyroxine help you lose weight? If your thyroid is underactive, you gain weight. Once you start this medication, you may lose weight as your body's metabolism is readjusted. But you should not take this medication for weight loss and double up or triple up the dose of this medication as this can cause fatal cardiovascular complications. Can levothyroxine affect my blood glucose levels? Once you're on this medication for some time, especially as a diabetic, and your thyroid gland is under better control, your blood sugar levels may be increased and your healthcare provider may need to adjust your dose of your diabetic medications. Your healthcare provider, and especially you, should be monitoring your blood sugar levels closely. If you're interested in learning about diabetic medications, click on this link above. Can thyroid medications cause bone loss? If you're on too high a dose of levothyroxine, this affects the rate of bone replacement and speeds the rate at which bone is lost. This will make you more susceptible to osteoporosis and bone fractures, and because of this, your bones are frailer. Can levothyroxine cause increased side effects in older adults? Yes, especially above the age of 65. These side effects are dose dependent. The higher the dose of levothyroxine, the higher the chance of side effects. Is levothyroxine safe during pregnancy? Levothyroxine is usually safe during pregnancy, but please check with your OBGYN doctor as each case is specific and unique. Can you stop taking levothyroxine suddenly? Do not suddenly stop taking levothyroxine. You may go into withdrawal experiencing symptoms such as fatigue, weight loss, anxiety, nausea and vomiting, and muscle weakness. How long does it take for thyroid medications to start working? You should start feeling better in a couple of weeks. This medication takes its full effect in four to six weeks. Seven hacks to avoid any side effects with a bonus tip. Number one, you can either take levothyroxine first thing in the morning, 30 to 60 minutes before your first meal. If this is not convenient or you're not a morning person, you can take levothyroxine late evening or at nighttime, three hours after your last meal of the day. Always try to take this medication, whether in the morning or at nighttime around the same time to avoid any metabolic fluctuations of this drug. Number two, if you continue to feel unwell on this medication, ask your healthcare provider to get blood tests. In this way, your provider can see if you're on the right dose of this medication. Number three, do not skip or miss doses of this medication. You will then experience symptoms of underactive thyroid gland, such as fatigue, low energy, dry skin, and feeling cold. Number four, these following foods can interfere with the absorption of thyroid medications. Foods with soy, walnuts, grapefruit, soybean flour, dietary fiber, such as fruits, beans, lentils, nuts. Make sure these food items are adequately spaced out when you're taking thyroid medications by several hours. Number five, you may have to change the dose of your thyroid medication if you're on a stomach medication, such as omoprazole or antacids, as these medications can interfere with the absorption of your thyroid medication. Number six, if you take your thyroid medication in the morning and you are a coffee drinker, and I like drinking coffee as well, drink your coffee at least 60 minutes after taking your medication. And I hope you're not drinking coffee at nighttime. Number seven, do not take calcium supplements iron tablets or multivitamins with your thyroid medication. Take these medications at least one hour or even longer after taking in your thyroid medication. All these medications can interfere with the absorption of levothyroxine or other thyroid brands. And I'm leaving you with a bonus tip. There are differences between levothyroxine and the different brands of this medication. Although quite subtle, the body absorbs these different brands and generic medications differently. Stick with the same brand or stick with the same generic form and do not switch up from a brand 
to a generic or vice versa. Go ahead and check some of these videos out and click right here or here. Have a good day and think ahead. How come every time I'm doing this, the battery is running out? Now I've got some stomach pain. People don't realize, but I'm using my phone. And while I was doing this phone, at least 10 people called me. Okay, five people called me.